Hey guys, as you can see, I got to make it to MGM Classic Cars. And man, I was blown away by all these beautiful hot rods sitting up in there. Classic cars and classic hot rods, man. I mean, you couldn't, and some set up for drag racing. I mean, you couldn't ask for much more. As you can see, a lot of these Chevy type of vehicles were in there, man. Look at them, the 50s and the 60s. Look at those Chevelles, man. Chevelles all day long in that place, man. I mean, some beautiful cars, man. And then you got a few Pontiacs back there, you know. Let's see, and there's another Chevy right there. As you can see, some um, beautiful cars, man. Especially that white one right there. It was beautiful, man. These cars were being moved over to a new building for them. Look at that Monte Carlo back there and his Corvette, and they're storing them in the new building, so when you go there, they're gonna even have more cars, so this was just moved over, and they're gonna have even more. Look at that Dodge Challenger right there. Oh, it was immaculate, and there's that Oldsmobile. That was clean, man. Look at that orange and white Camaro, creamsicle. <laughs> that gold with black trim. That was nice. I used to see that type in the magazine, and I was thrilled to see it in real life. And you got your tra traditional yellow with black. That's a nice Z28 right there, that blue one. And man, just looking at these cars, it was a lot more Chevys in there than most anything. But hey, there was a Mustang in there, and you got some Dodges there. And this Chevy Nova, I stopped to look at it. It's got a 396 in it. We're gonna come back to it. But look at that Pontiac right there. Nice Firebird, you know. And then let's see, we're getting clear. Yeah, we're getting close to it. The Mustang's sitting right there. And it was off to itself. <laughs> now look at this Chevelle right here. This is a custom Chevelle, man. I believe this is 70. And man, this thing was so clean. Whoever restored this, they knew what they were doing. Cause this thing's center shifter. Look at the beautiful red interior. Oh my God, this thing was just mind blowing to see that white paint on the outside, that beautiful red interiors, nice rims on this thing too. And it's dual exhaust, you know. I couldn't get the specs on the motor, but if it's there when I go back next time, I will post it. But check out this customized motor, man. Look in there. I'll let you guys check it out. You tell me what you think. I do know those are headers. Boy, that thing was so beautiful, man, to see that. Yeah, even those valve covers, how big the heads are. Beautiful headers in there, man. Nicely painted. The whole engine compartment was just beautiful, just as much as the car. You see the one, you see the two exhaust pipes. I mean, this thing was nice. Nice Chevelle. And they were just sitting there. And I, they let me do a video on it. I was very, very grateful. So let's enjoy this one because guess what? You got another one coming up. <laughs> look at that steering wheel with the flat bottom. And look at all your gauges, man, and your tack. Oh, boy. Yeah, mouth-watering, isn't it? <laughs> now, check out this Dodge. Man, this thing was beautiful. And I do believe this RT is packing a 426. And, man, you see that little die-cast collection card sitting on top of it? Exactly like the car itself. An RT with the same color scheme, same engine. Oh, yeah. This thing was a bad boy sitting up in there oh my goodness and I just looked I walked in and when I seen that I knew I said yeah Hemi so I knew that thing had to be packing a big motor in it for it to be an MGM because if it was anything smaller they probably would have put it off to the side and isolated it from the rest of the big boys you know save the big motors for the right uh, customers and let the little small things go Look at that. There's a driver's side here. I didn't see anything 
out of the ordinary with these cars. I looked this car over real good, especially with this black interior. This thing was solid, man. Very solid. And it was column shift. I was wishing it was a stick shift. But no, it was column shift, but I would take it anyway. You know, that thing was really, really nice. And I love the rims on this car, you know. And that sweet traditional stripe over the back of the trunk. Oh, my God. Now, this turned out to be a really nice find. This Chevy here is supposed to have a 427 in here. And I checked it out, and I was looking. And I said, man, this thing was super clean. Turbo jet. <laughs> yeah. Super clean. And those headers on this thing and that orange block in there, man. And I said, this would be a nice car to have. You know, it's clean, very clean. And I love the paint on this car. You don't see that too much anymore. And your red stripe uh, tires with those traditional Chevy rims on there. And a center shifter, you know. And if this was a resto, and I'm pretty much sure it was, they took excellent time rebuilding this car. So they took their time to make sure they had it right, man, before they let it go. And this thing here, my God. I love that color scheme with the black top on there. Oh, man. Coming around the back. Oh, yeah, there you go. SS427. But this thing here. Woo. As we look at the driver's side. Very clean. Love the chrome on there. Same thing with the rims. Coming around the back. Driver's side window. Love the interior. Just love it. Man, with that center shifter, well, I bet you this thing could take off and fly. Fly faster than a scalded hound dog. <laughs> yeah, man. Can't beat that. Boy, I love these, these especially this size of a car. Not too big with a four-door, but just right type of coupe with a big motor and a lot of power. Now, here's that Chevy Nova uh, we are coming back to. And this had a 396 in it, custom. And you can see it's got the comp valve cover covers on there. On the, on the, on the heads, man. And I was looking, it's got, it's got um, headers on there, but they're not wrapped. You know, but this thing here was a nice find. 396. I don't know what's wrapped around this steering wheel. I couldn't figure it out. And I wasn't going to touch it. But you see how clean it is inside this car. So my hands weren't going nowhere near that instruments. But this thing was excellent, man. Really nice on the inside. Clean all the way around. Yeah, it was a nice car, this Chevy Nova here. Now, here's my favorite, this Camaro. This thing, I used to see that color scheme Camaro in magazines, and it's a Z28. And that's exactly what I used to see in Hot Rod and whatever, you know, that same Camaro. And I walked into the place, and what did I find? That very Camaro sitting there, Z28. And I saw that, I said, oh, man, I got to get this thing here. Look at the inside, man. It's very clean in there. You know, dashboard is right. The seats aren't torn, no wear and tear. So they may be replaced. And the back is in excellent condition. You come around to the from the back of the driver's side, this thing's straight and it's sitting there looking nice and clean. Love the rims on it too, man. Excellent find. Later, guys.